次访华，他见证中国式现代化发展，感谢中国在困难时伸出援手。他希望斯里兰卡能与中国开展多方位合作，称赞中国发展经验惠及全球。他和中国有着特殊的缘分。高端访谈专访斯里兰卡总理古纳瓦特纳，敬请收看。关注国际焦点，洞察世界风云。大家好，欢迎来到本期的高端访谈，我是邹韵。今天我们来到了上海，即将在这里对话一位来自友好邻邦的嘉宾，他就是斯里兰卡总理古纳瓦德纳。他曾经多次访华，推动中斯关系发展。那么他如何定义当下的两国关系？他认为中国是现代化为发展中国家提供了怎样的经验？而他与中国又有着怎样特殊的缘分呢？今天，我们一起在对话中寻找答案。Prime Minister Guna Watnar, it was a great pleasure having you with us here on Leaders Talk. You visited the magnificent Great Wall that is renowned、uh, world cultural relic with a history of over 2,000 years and stretches for more than 20,000 kilometers. So, how do you like the trip? Is there anything memorable that you want to share with us? Yeah, when you get there, you feel that you have achieved something. That is always remembered. But I did the third time I've been、uh, up there. Thousands and thousands of people, not only from China,、mm -hmm. across the world, go up because it gives history of China,、mm -hmm. achievements of the historical history of China in the civilization, also a meaning to the strength that has been protected and retained. By the Chinese people, and my countrymen, I hope, will also get the message that their prime minister has gone up to the Great Wall. Well, let's talk a little bit about something inspiring, as well as、uh, the highlight of your trip this time is your meeting with Chinese President President Xi Jinping. Well, during the conversation, both sides exchange ideas on how to advance this bilateral relation, especially on advancing the、uh, strategic cooperative partnership between the two countries. So, what are some of your major takeaways from、uh, your meeting with President Xi? It has been a very positive. And a successful、uh, visit for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka-China relationship is over 60 years, and we have been stood as close friends in all issues. And China has continued to help Sri Lanka in all its challenges. For which、uh, President Xi Jinping had the confidence was given to us that the. Future development will also follow the same path of friendship and cooperation. President very specifically mentioned that our future is of new challenges. We have passed the one stage. Now the world is faced with new challenges. Modernization is taking place at a very fast rate. Sri Lanka hopes to modernize our. S、different productive and service sector, which can take us also fairly on a fast growth. We discussed all these issues, and the assurances were always positive. We had an opportunity of speaking to the president, Xi Jinping, which we appreciate and will remember continuously. After your meeting with President Xi, what is your impression of President Xi as a leader, and how do you understand his、uh, political thoughts and、uh, philosophy? It was a very pleasant conversation,、mm -hmm. but very deep conversation, because his words, I think, mean a lot when he speaks. So today he leads one of the greatest nations of the world. So for all of us, we appreciate this great progress because it's for the entire mankind. Everyone, every country can benefit from this progress.、Mm -hmm. That is his deep philosophy. 
As you mentioned, China and Sri Lanka are close friends and uh, traditional friendly neighbors. And how would you characterize this uh, time-honored uh, relations between the two countries? It's a long process. Our leaders have associated the leaders of China. We understand China's path. Sri Lanka signed the Rubber Rice Pact amid various pressures not to. It, it's not only an agreement. It's a new chapter of e in economics. China has proved to be that it is a great nation of the world, strong, developed in all areas, all fields of today's world. So I think Sri Lanka was very bold, straight, and a challenging position of recognized, giving diplomatic recognition in 1957. Because at that time we was known, we were known as Ceylon. China accepted Sri Lanka's future progress and development, uh, new areas of cooperation. Hamman to port at the tip of our country. Beyond Hamman to port, it is the Indian Ocean and no other country, no other island, right down to the South Pole. Mm -hmm. Please remember. So Sri Lanka also looked forward and developed Hambadota. Mr. Prime Minister, the projects they just mentioned are actually relevant with uh, another important topic that has been touched upon during your meeting with President Xi is the Belt and Road Cooperation. In 2014, President Xi visited and inaugurated uh, the landmark Lombo Port City project and those projects has now become flagship by examples of this cooperation. And during the meeting, President Xi particularly emphasized the high quality building of uh, the Belt and Road uh, cooperation between the two countries. So how do you think the quality of the Belt and Road cooperation can be further enhanced from your perspective? President Xi came to Sri Lanka and laid the foundation for the most challenging project Sri Lanka has embarked on, that is the Colombo Port City right. development. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, we were embarked on the construction of the financial center, which will play a major role in the Colombo Port City development as a financial sec center, a center of new financial instruments, widespread with new challenges that is emerging in order to face, call for investment. We have one of the strongest hubs in South Asia between Singapore and the Gulf. So it's a major step that has been taken. Mm -hmm. We were facing difficulty <clears throat> after the COVID set down. Recession took the world with COVID. All countries faced a recession. The world faced a recession. But China has come out of the recession strongly. And China's economy, economy strongly moving forward means it will affect all of Asia. Asian economies can now feel we have better opportunities, markets, various ventures to move forward with China or Chinese investment. So I think after that, Sri Lanka also has been able to progress. We were in deep difficulty economically, but China helped us as the first country to give the strongest support, along with all of our friendly countries and institutions. Uh, since then, Sri Lankan economy has picked up from minus. We have just reached the plus stage coming out of above zero, which gives strong confidence. In addition, our exports have been moving positively. We have also been able to relax a lot of restrictions that were before on the economy, thereby allowing the private sector mm -hmm. to reinvest, find new areas of investment, and for foreign investment also to come into Sri Lanka. 
Well, President Xi during the meeting also encouraged Chinese uh, enterprises to invest and uh, conduct business in Sri Lanka, but also expressing hope for a fair and uh, transparent uh, business environment in your country. So, Mr. Prime Minister, can you give us an idea and update of the current state of business environment in Sri Lanka, especially for international investors? What Sri Lanka announced, Sri Lanka has been following. I think the trust is important. Today, studying the investment proposals they have in order to move forward with the new legislation that has been brought, a lot of relaxation than before, so that the investors have confidence. And Sri Lanka wants investors that will modernize our country. Sri Lanka is in the east of India. The economy is in the east of the east. The long sea lines have been a important part of the fish in Sri Lanka. But the technical and technical level of the fish has been a very important part of the fish and the fish has been a very important part of the fish. 如今，斯里兰卡迫切希望尽快与中国展开渔业专业技术培训。We have already agreed with Chongqing Government and Three Gorges Vocational Training Institute to empower 100,000 families by vocational training. In fishing families also included to this program. But you have said in a previous interview that Sri Lanka must uh, took off to a new stage of development, not staying on the traditional industries like tea, uh, rubber, and uh, coconut. So in the future, we're looking ahead. What do you think are some of the most uh, promising new areas of cooperation between China and Sri Lanka? The plantation economy will diversify, even the private sector to participate for exports. Sri Lanka has so much that can be developed in the agriculture sector, a new for export. Tourism still to be strengthened and developed. Sri Lanka, as you know, is a beautiful island surrounded by a be lovely beaches from the north to the south. We need perhaps to Im improve our railway track and other sources, IT facilities, digital technology, mm -hmm. important areas where we could cooperate. And that would be a new stage for Sri Lanka. I also noticed that especially in recent years, the Sri Lanka government is placing greater emphasis on the cooperation of science and technological cooperation with China. For instance, last year when you visited Yunnan in August, you have shown a particular interest in the uh, state of our technology supplied in the uh, flower auction trade center in agriculture sector. And I even asked experts about how to bring those uh, technologies back to your home country. So what fascinates you the most in this broad field of Chinese technologies and what benefits do you think those Chinese technologies can bring to fishery, agriculture and other related uh, fields regarding the development of Sri Lanka? Yes, we were in Yuan province. Some of my other delegations have traveled to other provinces on invitation by China mm -hmm. and the governors, the agriculture sector has done a lot of research in China. Their productivity is very high. So that is one area where our farmers, our entrepreneurs can take the advantage of having hyper producing agricultural sector, mm -hmm. new areas of investment, which can go in for exports, uh, not only to China, but to other markets. Uh, you, have, you all have the research stations and which have been able to produce high yielding varieties. Representatives of Yuan has come to Sri Lanka and we have earmarked two special promises for this development that could take place. So the close cooperation definitely will lead to a better economic prosperity. President Xi Jinping mm -hmm. heads China and leads China his declared policy of, you know, what has shown, raising the 
lowest income population away from difficulty to better life over hundreds of million by the new policy the policy of a high yielding agriculture sector mm-hmm. which president declared would share with the entire world other nations and sri lanka is one that would like to cooperate get the support to develop our agriculture especially rice farming farmers productivity to be increased income levels to increase cost to be reduced all other countries are in this today's agricultural development because food security is an important area kuru nei gerre di chu shi sri lanka de hexin yilin zhong zhi chu jin xie nian lai zhong guo wei sri lanka ti gong le yilin rong he nong ye fa zhan xin fang an jiang chan pin cong dan yi de ye zhi ye rong deng zhu jian feng fu wei ye nai ye zi jing you deng bu tong fu jia zhi chan pin wei gai di chu de min zhong chuang zao jiu ye ji hui ti gao shou ru gai shan sheng huo China technology as a cost effective it's value for money um option when when compared with other origins so that is a one uh, critical aspect when it, uh, uh, in order to overcome the current challenges we have in business oh ape ayathane tola china samagama gena machine tiyenawa ehen gena machine walin attaram api loku prayojanaya gannama 除了农业,制造业也是中斯合作的重点。在斯里兰卡西部省的贝鲁沃勒地区，有很多中小规模的造船厂。近几年来，当地的一些造船厂通过引进中国技术设备，不断提高生产能力，制造的船舶远销海外，推动了斯里兰卡国际贸易的发展。So having visited the country many times and traveled extensively throughout the country from big cities to small villages, how do you understand China's path towards modernization? And managing a, a great nation and having growth and innovations and research mm-hmm. is what China has achieved in the last few years, a tremendous forward step. that runs across china i mean today in shanghai mm-hmm. yesterday i was at the boa conference yes. moved up moved down from beijing two months ago i was in yuan with my delegation mm-hmm. our members of parliament our public officials we have seen the great achievements and development in all fields so we can see the growth at every level rural level how the farmers have achieved better income levels living living standards how the edu- educational institutions have progress mm-hmm. sharing the uh, seeds with the rest of the world allowing other countries children to come do their higher education get back implement uh, the research they have done mm-hmm. so I would say it's a great achievement which has to be studied because studies will never end. Right. In terms of studying and learning, what kind of experiences and practices from China's modernization do you think are helpful and valuable to the modernization journey in Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka of course is a small uh, island. Our land area is small. Overall if you take take the fastest train china has produced it is something for the whole world to think public transport less costly more faster but these are achievements china have made by 
lot of changes that have taken place within China, lot of new investment in new areas, cooperation with other uh, entrepreneurs from abroad, technology being brought, mm -hmm. jointly being put into practice also is another aspect China has shown a great understanding in working towards uh, high objectives. Some Western media have uh, accused China of luring Sri Lanka into a debt trap. I believe that you have uh, been very familiar with accusations like this. What is your response to those media outlets? Sri Lanka, as I mentioned, all these minutes in your interview has always respected, trusted, and committed for development with China. China's help assistance has been for our development. When we were in difficulty, China helped us. When our territorial integrity was being threatened, our unitary state was about to be dispersed, China stood by Sri Lanka in order to overcome terrorism and to hold back the unitary state for which all our countrymen today appreciate. Mr. Prime Minister, you grew up in a family that share a very special bond with China, as uh, both of your parents were great friends of the country. So can you share with us some of those stories and uh, connections? Yeah, we are strongly uh, close friends of China. I would say Sri Lankans are. So my family also, my, my father being an active socialist, working the difficult times in Europe, for the socialist movement. Premier Chu and Lai later, but as a, as a leading activist in uh, Paris, my father also, mm -hmm. they put their signature asking the colonizers to leave Indochina. Since then, they have had close friendship, close collaboration, being in the same movement. I mean, everyone exchanges views. And after the victory, I did mention uh, the victorious revolution under Ma President Mao Zedong. Our bonds of friendship, exchanges of views, definitely would have taken place between our socialist leaders of Sri Lanka. Delegations came soon after. Uh, my mother was in parliament and she uh, was the first president of the Sri Lanka China Society. Prime Minister Gunawatnar, you have referred to China as a true, decisive global leader and have spoken highly about China's developments in benefiting the global south. Well, given the evolving global landscape is now filled with uh, unprecedented challenges, how do you interpret the significance of the Global Development Initiative, the Global Security Initiative, and the Global Civilization Initiative put forward by President Xi? Each country perhaps has have something special, but all of us getting together can make an uh, entire region, entire continent into these three areas that President Xi Jinping mentioned a success. It's a deep philosophy that has been announced. More than the letters of agreement, this is a deep philosophy. We understand it is what the world needs. We don't want half of the world to be starving or another sector of the world to be dying every day because of issues in relation to land or, st or their independence. It's a new world that we are aspiring to. Everyone wants peace. Peace in a much more deeper form can be also achieved, strengthened and safeguarded by achieving higher results of economic growth for all. Mr. Prime Minister, it was a great pleasure and honor talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome. Gunawa的那总理表达了对中国在斯里兰卡遇到困难时伸出援手的感激并赞赏中国的发展惠及世界
。他希望斯里兰卡可以学习中国式现代化的成功经验，与中国共同发展。我们也期待中斯真诚互助、世代友好的战略合作伙伴关系能够根深叶茂，不断向前。感谢您收看本期的高端访谈，我是邹韵，我们下期再会。